welcome back to the channel and my name is West and how are you guys doing today? Well today we are going to take you guys to an auction. We are here in Kansas right now and we're going to head south down through Oklahoma and try to end up in Texas unless my brother who's driving me takes a wrong turn. So with that being said, I've got to go down to Dallas for some business and going to see some family and stuff while I'm down there. And you know what? It coincides perfectly with that there's an auction down there. So we're going to go down there. Maybe we'll find us a dozer or a skid loader, some pickups, you know. Maybe we'll find Bob a girlfriend, you know. He's been needing him one. He's been feeling a little lonely lately. We're going to get loaded up in the truck and get headed that direction. You know, I don't know why I'd look at these pretty dozers here. I got the best dozer I could ever have at home. But these do have their advantages. Oh, air conditioning. Where's the radio? Uh, be daisies. Ooh. Okay, yeah. You know what? This one, this one might be a little bit nicer than ours. I better get out of this one. I might decide I need to buy it. Look at these little things. I could drive this in my goddamn living room. Hey, Garrett, does your floor need cleaned in your house? <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I could or not. I don't know if this thing would carry me or I would carry it. To be honest, every time we go to these auctions, Weston's always wanted one of these things. I have. Okay, this one's broken. Let's move on. This one here now. The thing about it, though, is I don't know if I would carry the machine or the machine would carry me. Come here, little Turex. Let's go home. Well, like stand next to it for reference. But you know what? It doesn't look... I'm not it, that big of a guy either. It's, it's not like I'm just Sasquatch and this is like a 90 horsepower machine. Hey when you see all them people that's got ads about clearing trees oh yeah i got a 75 horsepower machine i can clear any tree you want then they show up in this thing kind of funny you think i can even get in it you know it'd be hilarious if you ran this into ralphie's house and then just smashed like right into his front door <laughs> i bet it would fit oh that's warm look at this it takes a caterpillar key really <laughs> I can have so much fun with this thing. and clean my living room floor with it. What is that? You'd be a more efficient house cleaner than I'll tell you that much. I could be. You know what? I could just drive this right in front of the thing. Let me just, hold on a second. Let me. I do have a severe problem though. I've got my wallet in my pocket so I can't turn it to the right because it hits my wallet. Shame's a bit. You got a foot pedal? video Weston bought the smallest skid loader isn't that right Weston huh so in today's video Weston buys a small skid loader <laughs> in today's video Weston buys a small skid loader oh my god you know what I thought this thing would be a lot tighter to fit into than it really is it's not that bad do you know how hilarious it'd be to take that and drive that into Ralphie's house and flip his couch over with it with it him in it <laughs> <laughs> you know what I bet you it would fit it would fit in his door it would fit in like if it's double doors we could we could definitely fit in keys double doors hey this thing here would be awesome for landscaping and stuff don't poop on it a 200 dollars cleaning fee will be charged if this machine is not returned clean what? i wonder if i could put that sticker on my front door <laughs> <laughs> a 200 dollars cleaning fee will be added if this house is not clean when i get back <laughs> one of these things would be so awesome i got legitimately like i wish they weren't so much money Actually, I think they get down to about 10000 That's still a lot of money. It's still a lot of money for like a tiny little skid loader. Yeah, I told your buddies, I bought a skid loader for ten grand. they are like, oh yeah, that's a hell of a deal. And then you pulled up in that, they'd still be laughing three weeks later. Skid loader, Wally. Look at the lights on it. The lights are even funny looking. I, I bet you the light on my phone is brighter than this. Next to this, people will think I'm related to Sasquatch. 
Oh my God, Weston's nine feet tall and 360. You are related to Sasquatch, but that's besides the point. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't need to talk about that. He's still in hiding. He's on America's Most Wanted and everything. <laughs> oh, he's on he's on Canadian's Most Wanted too. Hey, is it? are you a Sasquatch, eh? I gotta arrest you now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Now you see this machine here, this machine is good looking from afar, but far from good looking. Now they had just painted this machine, as you can see, they care a lot about taping it off. Yeah, they just, they just painted right over all that. Look how bad it's painted. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not. But yeah, this was one rusty turd before they decided to paint it. Oh my god, but you know what? If you back up, this is a 50-50 machine. It looks good from 50 miles an hour or 50 feet away. Yeah, at least they put decals on it, but look at that. Yeah, that's not that's not a new kind of thing that Caterpillar's doing. That's just called that's called Northern Rust is what that's called. Oh, there's a lot of skid orders there. I think there's over 120 skid orders. We tracked down this lady to give us a ride and she's like, oh no, you're too big, big boy. You ain't getting on my goddamn golf cart. So she's like, we'll find somebody with a front end loader to come give you a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Now these are some pretty nice machines. These machines are a little bit too nice for our, our liking. So let's go find some that are our class. Let's do that. Now this line up here, this is more my speed. By my speed, I mean don't run. Now this is junk row, which means this is Weston's row. This is where we go to get all of our good stuff. Now, which good stuff do we want to look at first? There's all kinds of good junk that we need to look at here. One here, as you can tell, is a little bit off track, and uh, what I mean by off track is they broke the track. Weston's been operating this one. Shh, you're not supposed to tell anybody. But you know the thing about it is it's actually common to break tracks, especially if they get a cut, pretty good cut in them. This one here broke pretty severely. You can see it ripped it apart. But what's weird is while the machine had to be running for it to break a track, it was a running machine. Why wouldn't they just put another track back on it? Like I, this is why I just can't understand the logic. That's what, why it makes me think that there's something else wrong with this machine besides just a broken track. Yeah, it looks terrible. And this is a 2016 machine, and it looks like it has been. This thing is rougher than a night jail. This is a Bobcat 510. That would, they don't really know anything about it. They don't know how many hours got on. Go look at this one. This one here is a 2014. We can tell with the vent plate. There's still pressure on it. No, they're not. Ooh. That thing's a little war. Well, in October of 18, it had 1,700 hours. So, we can't have... What's that? That's been almost a year ago. The worst things you want to check for on these Bobcat... Now, these are like a Kubota motor that's made for Bobcat. They're a little bit different, but these are bad about locking up. So, you take your pliers, put them on the alternator. Uh, try to spin the dang thing over. Uh, nope. I think that damn thing's locked up. Well, Let's check the oil. Oh. Look at that. Um, what am I looking at? I don't at? know if the camera can see that, but there's a bunch of metal shavings in it. Like a lot of metal shavings. I bet the engine's locked up on this one. Bearings went, or, went out of it or something. Well, well, what a relief. It's only locked up. Yeah, what a relief. That's the only thing we got to fix is the engine but it's got nice tires. Now look at this one. See, I can grab a hold of this and I can spin that engine over. See, I can spin the engine over. Does that I, mean this engine's really wore out or? That one over there is locked up. I'm gonna go with that one over there is locked up. I really think that's what's wrong with that machine is the motor's locked up. Nope, this one here definitely got more issues than that. They were right in the middle of a load. That's the reason I say that. You know the funny thing? I have never seen a Caterpillar engine bay look this bad. You know, it could be a flood deal. No, I don't think it's a flood. No, not a flood. It could just be a, she's a good used machine deal. Yeah, it could be not good. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it you really look at this engine and then you're like, let me look at this air filter and it's going to be perfectly clean. The air filter is the best looking part. I'm not even joking. I was going to look, see if it if it was full of shit that I knew it was a flood. I really want to know how this battery started or anything. Look at that. And 
and if you guys don't believe me, yes, that is a battery down there. There, see? Look. Look at that. Feel like yeah, I can... that up. So the bad thing about buying machines like this, and I really don't like buying skid loaders that are an in-op row is because there's so many more things that could be wrong with a skid loader than there can be with a pickup you know with a pickup you know it's engine transmission rear end you know that's that's or wiring issues that's pretty much the main issues you're going to have now with these you've got engine you've got the hydraulic pump you've got the planetaries you've got the drive motors you've got bearings and the axles there's all kinds of small also, things everything on this is very expensive to fix and it's nothing that i have parts laying around to fix like on Chevy pickups, I got a part laying around to fix a transmission, engine, anything. But I have no parts laying around to fix one of these. I really haven't found a skid steer that I want to buy back here yet, to be honest. Well, that's, that's a high pressure fuel pump. High pressure fuel pump's missing. That's why there's no oil in it. They drain the oil out of it to get the high pressure fuel pump out. The injection pump? It's not there. So, do you think it's just a high pressure fuel pump? Yeah. So you think the trans is a bad on this one? Yeah, the transmission fluid's the same color. Yeah, I don't know. Transmission fluid's a little bit... Transmission fluid looks worse than this dirt. Let's just say that. Well, let me ask you a question. Like, what's this red thing hanging out that from underneath you? That is the TO for the winch. That bolts up to the side of the, yeah, that's a hydraulic PTO for the winch. And the transmission, everything's laying on the back end. Well, you can see what happened to it. That hole is not supposed to be there. The transmission case is cracked. That's why they took it out. So, think about it is, this makes me feel good. I know what's wrong with it. But the transfer case is fine, which means the front drive line didn't fly apart. So they just took it apart and everything back together. All it needs is a new transmission up there. Not under it, but look at the transfer case. It's broke off. And here's what's left the front drive on. See how it's twisted up? Yeah. Same thing that's happened to the last eight of them that we've had. That this double universal joint went out and tore off the transfer case. And then it just tore it apart and never put it back together. Huh. So just the transfer case and the transmission's fine? I mean, look, if it was going to tear anything up, it would have torn up on this side. Oh, nope. The transmission case is cracked. Show me. Right there. Yep. Transmission case is busted too. But these Dodges, see, it's full of oil. You know what? This one here knocks apparently. They're not bad about knocking, but these six sevens are bad about cracking the flex plate and sounding like they're knocking. These ones here look like the studs back here. Don't get them around to this side then. She's an Oak Oki truck. Yeah, this one came from Oklahoma. I don't know what's wrong with it. What? What's wrong with it? It's uh, missing some of its fan parts. Oh, what is it missing? It's missing its power steering pump. See, there's no belt on it. I bet you it's having an overheating issue. Some but look at the inside of that big degas bottle over there. They put Huggy Pucky in it. Oops. Okay, I kind of know what's wrong with this one. What's wrong with it? Um, they took it apart. See that? Front half of the turbo is missing. Radiator's missing. Fan's missing. So that could mean that it's got a bad engine and they've tore these parts off to put on another one, or? Yeah, basically. That or? It had a bad turbo. That or? But why would you take this part about a bad turbo? I can see the turbo blades are broken off. They could have broke that off trying to get the housing off it though. But. Yeah, it's hard to say. More than full on oil. Oh, smell that? Smell it. Oh uh, yeah, the camera can smell it. It smells like diesel. What's that mean? Uh, one of the injectors is leaking probably. Internally, like injector cups or something. Imagine using a 17 though as a parts truck. I know, you know how sad that is? This is a 2017, they use it for parts. <laughs> so guys, we got a lot of machines looked at up here at the auction. 
We're gonna see if we get any of them bought. Now, I know this might not be the interesting, most interesting thing you've ever watched, and the reason for that is I was kinda in Weston buying mode. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, my brother, he's got coming down with a cough. It's a bad deal. So, if you guys wanna see another video on the auction, kinda more in depth on what we look for and how we handle auctions and stuff like that, uh, leave a comment down below and maybe we'll do one in the future. That being said, make sure you leave a like on this video if you like it, and that tells YouTube that we're good fellers and that other people should watch us if you're new here make sure you subscribe and you know what i'll see you guys next time see you later